here's some, oh, here's a Speed Racer comic. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Hey, what's up? It's your boy Burf. And it is Sunday morning. It's gloriously beautiful outside. It is perfect weather here in Tejas. And we're about to go on a vintage toy hunt. Actually, a vintage slash retro toy hunt. So uh, we're starting off today at the Goody Wheel. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? See, because it's like right over here, right? So, um, But uh, we're going to be stopping at Target as well. And the reason we're stopping at Target is um, I just got word that there is a retro line of Indiana Jones figures. The same line that, um, who was it? Was it, uh, wasn't Galoob, was it? No, it wasn't Galoob. Might have been Kenner. I think it's the Kenner line. Um, a new line of, uh, a retro line of Indiana Jones figures that are hitting Target. Now, the guy that posted this picture, and I've got up here on the screen here, he said that they actually had these in the back. So he uh, he's had to ask if they were in stock. They were in the back, and the guy went and got them out of the back. So we might have to do that today, but I'm kind of hoping they're out on the shelves and we can get first crack at them. So we're going to hit up this goodie wheel. We're going to hit up a couple of targets if we don't find them at the first one. Uh, and then, I don't know, we might hit up another thrift store or two. But anyway, we're going to keep our fingers crossed, and we're going to pray, 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 pray that the vintage retro gods are good to me today. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Look at this thing. I think we saw this last time. And we got a little drum set. A little Tykes drum set. Here's a very colorful Frisbee made by Whammo. This is actually kind of a cool Frisbee. I don't know if I might get that. I think I saw this here before, but I might pick it up today. I feel like we've seen a lot of the same old stuff we saw last time. How about over here in Plushville? Any plushies worth picking up over here? Any My Pet Monsters? Any ALF plushes? Maybe some Ewoks? Yeah, I'm not really seeing anything. Here's a Scooby-Doo. Oh, that's odd. He's just mixed in with all these things. But check out this little figure here. Is this from like the uh, Plants vs. Aliens or something like that? He's kind of cool though. He's like a little bowling pin. I wonder if they have more of these guys around. Oh, check this out. Oh, isn't that cool? Hmm. They only want six ninety six from it. From it for it. Nineteen ninety five. All right, yeah, let's pick this up, too. That's pretty cool. It's like a little door hanger. Yeah, I'm digging that. Oh, look at this little ceramic. Oh, yeah, that is, like, really cute. <laughs> oh, it actually lights up. Probably needs batteries, though. Oh, it is kind of lit down there. Hmm. Well, it works at least. Oh, I think about that because that's really neat. I know it's not Halloween, but oh, look at this basket. <laughs> that is a cool little wicker basket, too. Five bucks for that. And then move my stuff off to the side. Looks great with a scene setter room and border rules this is a scene setters oh he's like transparent that's awesome yeah all kinds of cool halloween stuff here today geez and i'm almost certain that this is a vintage pumpkin basket as well oh, damn look at this cool ass thing that is badass what's this say Proceed with candy. Okay. Now that is cool. I guess you'd put like a little cal uh, calendar, a candle in there and light that shit up. All right, guys. We picked up a nice little haul in there. She actually ended up giving me the Frisbee for free and it didn't have a price on it. So she, she said, well, because it's kind of orange and your pumpkin is orange, I'll just include them as a set. 
I said, I like that. <laughs> creative thinking. I love creative thinking. And then uh, she gave me the little alien dude for 37 cents, which was cool. I was thinking that was gonna be like a buck or something, but let's jump in the car and do a little show and tell. All right, first up, we got this General Foam Plastic Vintage Pumpkin Basket, little candy basket. It's gonna need a little cleaning up. It's a little crusty down in there, but this thing is really cool. I have another one of these, but it's got like the traditional pumpkin eyes on it. You know, like this whole triangular area is just solid black. But uh, I like the little rounded eyes they gave this one with the happy face. So we got this pumpkin. We also got this little jazzware alien. Again, I can't remember if he's like from, or is he a zombie? Maybe he's a zombie. I was thinking he was like plants versus aliens, but he might be a zombie, right? Because I think I've seen these. I think I actually have little figures of these guys, but I thought he'd make just a neat little display piece in my little monster section. So I think he's kind of cool. We also ended up with this Eye of the Tiger Whammo Frisbee. I say it's just Eye of the Tiger. I have no idea what its name actually is other than just Frisbee. It's from 2019. It's not vintage at all, but I like the color of it and I like the artwork of the tiger. So I snagged it. And last but certainly not least, we got this Hallow Scream Griffin Gatekeeper. He is animated. I'll have to get him home and see if he actually works. Hopefully he works. But he's from 1995, so we got some vintage 90s in the house. He even has a Garden Ridge sticker on it, which uh, all the Garden Ridges around here closed down. I don't know if they closed down nationwide or just here in our area, but we no longer have Garden Ridge. Uh, but man, how cool is this thing? So like, I guess, you know, it's motion censored. And then when you walk up, his hands pick up. And I think this door knocker, you know, he knocks on it, whatever. Um, I wonder if it makes like a big loud sound, like, you know, the, if the speaker on it has like a loud knocking sound that happens. I don't know, maybe even a laugh, but you know, like an evil laugh, but this thing is really cool looking. And I thought, you know, I don't know, maybe I'll just hang it up on the entrance to the door to the bunker. How cool is that? So here's the, uh, the back of it. There's not a whole lot to it, uh, but check them out in action right there. His eyes all light up red. I come to life as you approach. I think it's super cool that it's still in the box too. All right, gang, we are off to a great start. I got all of that for less than $10, $9.54 to be exact. I think we got some great scores. I saw that this thing here is actually selling for like 30 to 50 bucks, depending on condition, I guess. Uh, but yeah, we got some fun items here. Up next, we're gonna go hit up Target and see if we can find us some Dr. Jones. All right, my friends. We are here. We're at the Target in Allen, Texas. And uh, I decided to come to this Target. There's actually two Targets here. This is like the, uh, the original Target. It's been here for like 30, 40 years or something. But uh, I like coming here because not a lot of people come here. They go to the, the super target up the street. And that usually means that there are toys that get put out here that don't get picked over because everybody's up at the other target buying that shit. So let's uh, keep our fingers crossed and pray that the target gods are good to me today. All right, let's see, what do we got? This is the Bakugan, Bakugan, Bakugan section. And we got some Gujitsu's. Sucks that they're doing this woke packaging. Gotta save the planet. Can't have a plastic window. Hmm. What's down here? Python patrol officer. Oh, he looks kind of cool. Looks like they got a few of those. Oops. Always dropping stuff. And then we got Rakondo. We got these reaction pictures, which I think it might be Super 7 that's also doing the Indiana Jones. But I heard someone said they're only, the, the Indiana Jones are only $11.99 versus this $17.99 price point. So we will see. Oh, look at this. Dungeons and Dragons. Oh. That's just like the cartoon. That is cool. Must be the 40th anniversary. Maybe. Wow, 49.99. That is like crazy. 
crazy. Sucks that you can't see the inside. But uh, I don't know. I might end up getting some of these figures possibly. If I'm a good boy and save my money. <laughs> oh, look at this. G.I. Joe Duke and Ram. Oh, so does it come with a figure as well? Oh yeah, it looks that way. Well, that's awesome. Oh yeah, there he is right there. We saw him actually at dirt cheap, but he didn't have his remote control, so we didn't get him. What's this? Uh, Power Rangers. All right, well, what do we got over here? Hmm. Lots of Mario stuff. That ship is awesome. And then we've got the Iceland. Oh, what's this? Poppy Playtime. He kind of looks like a Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, it's probably kind of a spinoff of that, huh? Like Five Nights at Freddy's is like a jump scare game that takes place in a pizza, a pizza shop, like a kind of like a Chuck E. Cheese sort of thing. And this is Poppy's Playtime. Hmm, what's this down here? And we've got some Pokemon. What's this? Sword and Shield. Oh, these must be like box card sets or something. All right, what do we got here? Shawn Michaels. Now 1954. Hey, thanks for saving me like three bucks. I appreciate it. <laughs> Ken Shamrock. AJ Styles. There's the Ultimate Warrior. And who's this? Oh, it's another Drew McIntyre. We got Adam Page. Roman Reigns. Some Black Series stuff. Hey, it's Mr. Peg Warmer. Still warming pegs. And what's this shredder down here? Oh, there's more uh, wrestling guys down here, too. Got this shredder from Turtles. What kind of two pack is this? Man, that dude is huge. Look at him next to AJ Styles. Omus. Here's that three pack of Sun Man. Uh, Keith actually picked me up a Sun Man at Ollie's. Just the Sun Man himself, I think, for like, I don't know what it was, like seven bucks or something like that. Oh, they have the retro turtles that I've been looking for. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's, I thought that was $21. So $11.99 for these figures, huh? See, that's a great price point. That's like actually affordable. So what do we got? We got Mikey. So we got Mikey. We got Leonardo, and we got Raphael, and we have Donatello. We got all four turtles here. All right, I'm going to grab these because if I don't find the Jones, I think I'm just going to pick up all four of these. This will probably come back to bite me, but I don't think I want to buy that Mikey just because of that paint stuff. You know, it leaked onto his lip area. So I don't really like that. See, that's the thing. That's why you want to have plastic to look at your figures versus just like this right here. How do I know that this guy doesn't have like paint mistakes like that, you know? It's like I want to buy figures that look good. Not one that looks like someone just slapped some pink paint on his gums. All right, so we might, I'm gonna, like I said, it might come back to bite me, but I think I'm going to leave him behind and get the others. This one here looks okay. Same with that one, and I think it was this one here. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, it looks all right. It's got a little, like, you're gonna, always gonna have some of that paint leakage. You can see it's onto his white tooth there, but nothing's ever gonna be perfect. But this, where did he go? But that's just, uh, 
That's too sloppy for me. Yeah, it's just way too sloppy. Hey, I found this other Raphael that looks a lot better. So let's grab him instead. These, uh, these Avatar figures are cool. I like the mech suit, the little figures. Oh, they only want $7.49 for that? Hmm. I don't know. I might grab one of those. We got this Skeletor, Masters of the Universe. Some more turtle stuff. All right, we're over here in the collectibles, the NECA section. Let's see what's in NECA's NECA the Woods. A lot of the same old stuff. Look at this one. What is this? What's inside? A beanie, a t shirt, an action figure, a magnet, and a keychain. It's like a blind, like a big blind box. You know, you'd think after these guys being on the shelves for so long, they'd put these things on sale. But they don't. They never put this section on sale. Oh, look, Mr. Peg Warmer's hanging out over here in the collectible section. Look at this. Hunter X, I think it says, right? Hunter X, maybe? Never heard of this. <laughs> oh, these are cool. I saw these before. I think they're pretty cool renditions of them. Look at this Star Trek Enterprise, the USS Enterprise. Stranger Things. Everybody keeps telling me I need to watch this show. I'm going to have to pull the trigger on it at some point. Oh, look at this one. I guess this is like a Build-A-Figure pack, huh? Guys, I'm an idiot. I'm a big dummy. I bought these last year. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even need these. These aren't the ones I need. The ones I need are like, I think they've got like the bad guys, like they've got uh, uh, Leatherhead and all, you know, those types of characters and stuff like that. So these right here, I bought these last year. I almost bought them again. I'm a retard. Check out this Mario end cap. There's all kinds of cool Mario figures. I guess with the movie coming out, they're gonna probably start stocking up all these things. Look at these guys down here. Nice. All right, back to this guy. I am not uh, really into Avatar at all, but I like this mech suit with this little dude. And I think they're only $7.49 for these so I could get like two of them for the price of one I mean that's a deal I don't really like this though well the guy has that like that little playset with it I guess that little diorama piece. Oh man, do I get both of them or I just get this one? I think I'm just gonna get this one. Or I can always buy a couple of mech suits and paint him a different skin color. I can always like paint him black or something. I got a black guy and a white guy. All right. Or maybe I'll paint him red and make him like an Indian. <laughs> That's racist. Just teasing. Um, hmm. Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to have to make a decision here in a second or two. Because I'm, re I'm ready to head off to the other target. I just asked 
park here if there were any in the back and he checked and he was like we don't have any on site and then he did a search for other targets he said he said normally super targets will get stuff before us and i was like yeah i was gonna head there next and he did a quick search and he goes i'm not seeing anything over there either but that you know you can always still check you know so that's what we're gonna do because it's always worth checking but uh he said there's not even like a delivery date so he goes we might not be getting these for a while which would suck so um but hey that's how it that's how toy hunting goes sometimes you know in the meantime i'm gonna make a decision on these guys oh dang like here's a bigger version of that thing well, that's cool i want 40 bucks for this yeah i will not be spending 40 dollars on that i think i'm gonna pass on this smaller one too i do think it's neat but it's just like an impulse buy oh and check this out we got mecha neck and the ground ripper that's awesome 33 dollars for that boba fett mission fleet with slave one Here's some of the Aikido Battle Giants. Those are new. I haven't seen these before. I like that one. Looks like they just have the two. The guy in the blue suit and the, the robot looking dude. The bird and the robot. Well, lo and behold, we got some clearance. I don't have Stratos. This is from that new master the new Eternia series. It was $21.99. It's $15.39 now. <clears throat> kind of want to get it, but at the same time, I don't. Still don't want to spend $15. <laughs> if he was like $10, I'd snatch him. When we got here, now, well, this was $120, and it's now $83.99. Holy crap. It's an epic battle pack. I guess because it comes with three of them, huh? Plus her. What's this over here? Oh, She-Hulk. Nah, not interested. Well, maybe we will get him. Because he's selling for like 40 bucks on eBay. Of course, this one looks like it might have been opened and returned. That doesn't look like it's in its proper spot. This is kind of crinkled up. The plastic on the inside is crinkled and bent. It's like someone popped them out, popped them back in. It could be on clearance because he's missing stuff. Of course, I'm just going to take him out of the plastic, out of the out of the box anyway. Well, here's another one of those little sets for $7.49. Yeah, so they're clearancing all of this Avatar stuff. And what do we got down here? Got lots of wrestlers, $8.60. Here's a Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that's not much of a clearance. It's actually just like a sale price. Hmm. I guess that's just it. Just these two racks of clearance. All right. Uh, why is this so hard today? Why am I having such a hard time deciding if I want to buy something? Hey, look at this cart of toys over here. It's like cleaning supplies and there's a Boba Fett. This card's all banged up though, but a critter clinic, some Lego stuff. I guess these are just things that maybe people returned or maybe things they found like under the shelf when they were cleaning. That's a possibility, right? All right, well, surprise, surprise. I didn't get the Stratos. I'm just gonna save my money and uh, maybe go home today and buy a vintage toy. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know, I just, I wasn't feeling it. Like, but I, you know, that's the first time I've ever seen a Stratos. So it's like one of those things, like I've never seen it before on the shelf. I should probably buy it. He is on clearance, but 
I just wasn't feeling it. So we walked out of that Target with nothing. I'm not even sure I want to go to the Super Target right now, but we might, we're gonna probably head home, but we might stop at a couple of thrift stores on the way because chances are, if it's not showing up here, it's not going to be there, especially since he already checked on his thing. He was like, you can check anyway. And I know, I know I said earlier, it's always worth checking, but it's like, I don't know. It's in the opposite direction of where I want to go. So I want to start heading home. Nicole's making biscuits and gravy today for uh, what we used to call in school breakfast for lunch. So I don't know if you guys ever had breakfast for lunch, but it was always a day in school where they serve like breakfast items at lunchtime. Um, so she's gonna be making some delicious homemade biscuits and gravy. I went and got her, she's making it from scratch. Went and got all the stuff and uh, she's like, I'm gonna make it for you. I'm gonna make it for you, boy. So anyway, I'm gonna head home, but let's stop at a couple of thrift stores on the way and we'll check that super target another day. All right, my friends, we are at the thrift store. One of my favorite places, although this place hasn't really been that great lately. Just in general, I feel like it's been a little dry, you know? I mean, I've definitely pulled some scores out, but just, you know, around the area. But not like at Christmas time, man. It was like around Christmas, January, man, I was scoring vintage toys left and right. It was awesome. <laughs> so let's uh, let's hope we can get something out of here today. All right, let's see what is in this glass case. It's like a minion radio or alarm clock or something. I don't know what that's supposed to be. That's not like a well, I don't know. Is there something on the back side of him? Anyway, there's an autographed baseball, but I don't know. I don't know who's autographs. I'll check out that Mickey Mouse baseball. That's cool. We got some pool balls. Yeah, here's some. Oh, there's a Speed Racer comic. Twelve ninety nine. All right, I'm gonna take a look at that. That's cool. Okay. All right, we're gonna get the Speed Racer comic stuff. Looks like a, there was only like three in there, but we're gonna check through these bags and see if we can out any other scores oh, we got a space shuttle space shuttle discovery isn't that the one that blew up or is that columbia i can't remember it was challenger for sure but then there was the other one just don't remember which one and we got some holsters for some uh cap guns these look like they could be a little older I think this is like uh, like an ammunition strap, you know, that straps around your chest and you've got your bullets you and carry all your, oh yeah, you can carry all your Nerf bullets in there. Look at that guy. <laughs> what is that? What's this little thing here? That's like a, oh, it's a little Pepsi can. Or something like that. See the little Pepsi logo? It's like something you'd get out of like a bubble gum machine. Yeah, there's like a whole bunch of these. There's a hole in the bag. There's like a whole bunch of these little. It's like a Mountain Dew. What's this one here? Maybe another Mountain Dew. I oh, know that one's a Sprite. Oh, look at that little Frankenstein dude in there. Oh, that is cool. A little shark. Anything else fun in that bag? Uh, no, he's like the coolest thing in there. I want $3 for the bag though, darn. All right, guys, I got the Speed Racer comics and uh, now that I had like a little better look at them while I was checking out, uh, there's actually multiple comics in there. I thought it was just like three. But there's actually multiple comics. I don't know if they're all Speed Racer, but we're about to find out because we're going to do a little show and tell. All right, well, we definitely have some vintage 80s in the house. This comic book here is from 1984. And check that out. Oh man, I am like really stuck. Oh, look at this on the back, the real Ghostbusters. Full color monthly comic book series. Oh, that's awesome. Oh man, I love these old comics. Look at that. 
Oh, guys, like, I'm really jazzed up over this right now. Oh, look at this. We got, like, a, we got, like, a poster we can hang on our wall. <laughs> that is so cool. Awesome. So, we got this one. And, uh, oh, yeah, here's another speed racer. See, this one here was $1.75. This one here is $2. So, the price went up a little bit. Let's see if there's a other. See, this one here is from 1988. Oh, look, it's Racer X. Oh, man, these are freaking awesome, guys. Oh. How much was this one? A buck 75. So this one was probably from 84 as well. Oh, no, this one here was from 1988. So it must have been right before the... Right before the price change. I don't know. I don't know what the difference is, actually. But this is uh, Racer X, number seven. What's on the back here? Fright Night. Whoops. I got to be careful because I don't want to rip the pages trying to do this with one hand. Look how colorful that is. Oh, my gosh. I am stoked about that. All right, so we got that one. Here's another one. Another Racer X comic. What's on the back of this one? Oh, some more real Ghostbusters stuff. Oh, yeah. I just, I love how colorful these comic books are. 255 pages of Speed Racer comics. Only $3.75. Okay. Some more Racer X. Fright Night. So I'm not going to go through all of these but we'll just kind of take a look that's a cool one right there huh check that out that speeds older brother by the way racer x in case you're not familiar check out that the adventures of baron munchausen i loathe new york <laughs> All right, so you got that. And what's this? Comic Odyssey. And then Batman, A Death in the Family. What year is this one from? It was $3.95 for this book. But it looks a little older. Ah, 1988. So I think all of these comics are from the 80s. I don't even see any. This is like a book almost. I don't even see any advertisements in this one. So that's pretty cool. And then let's just check this one. What year was this one made? 1988. Very cool. That was a sweet score. I am really jazzed up over that, guys. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz, man. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz. He's on that jazz. <laughs> oh my God. I'm a Looney Tune sometimes. All right, guys. Well, hey, that was an awesome score. So let's go ahead and uh, hit up the Goody Wheel and see what kind of goodies they got. Maybe we can keep the vintage toy hunt continuing. We got, we got some vintage Halloween stuff here. At the very beginning, we got some vintage comic books from the 80s. It doesn't, life doesn't get any better unless we can score some more vintage at these other places. So let's go check them out. All right, my friends, we are here. We're at the Goody Wheel, baby. What you got for me today, Goody Wheel? What you got for me today? Hopefully we can continue this winning streak. Let's see what they got. All right, what do we got on the shelves today? Oh, see, this goes with this. But somebody keeps taking it out of it. Probably the kids. All right, what else do we got here? Oh, there's some sort of Imaginex Batmobile. This looks like it's missing a wheel, though. Batmobile lost its wheel and the Joker got away. Oh, look, the whole bottom half of them came off. See, that's what happens when you let kids just do what they want. They destroy shit. So he's supposed to have a whole bottom half and... He's been here for a few weeks, so we know that, but somebody ripped him to pieces. Poor Buzz. All right, 
How about over here? Any plushies? Hmm. Well, look at this sloth. Oh man, he's like heavy. He's got like big heavy beans like in his in his arms, his paws here. Just knocking shit everywhere. All right, what else? Looks like nothing. Well, it's like a little change purse, sort of. Oh, I got a SpongeBob, man. He's really beat. Damn. This is Jack and Jill, an animated musical toy. What year is this thing from? Oh, I don't see a date on it. It looks old, though, doesn't it? Oh, look, we got Barney's A Night Before Christmas. Another one of those desk lights. I just bought one of those. All right, well, we just got busted. Our first, like, thrift store bust of the day. They got busted at Target, too. But that was by choice. There was stuff we could have got, but we decided not to. All right, we're gonna finish up today's adventure at Craptastic Sam's sister location, AKA Plaza Thrift. So, Let's head on over there and maybe we can finish strong. All right, kids. It's our last stop of the day. Plaza Thrift. So, we will uh, pop in here, check the glass case. We'll see if that Boba Fett's still in there. They want 40 bucks for him. And uh, when I checked, so I checked here a couple days ago is when he first showed up and I checked yesterday and he was still there. So he could still be there because I think he's overpriced. And you guys tell me, 40 bucks, is that overpriced? I mean, that's my, let me just put it this way. It's not overpriced, it's retail, but it's overpriced for what it should be in a thrift store. Tell me your thoughts on it in the comments. Is he overpriced or is he priced correctly? Also, we will check the shelves and then we'll rummage through some bags. All right. Well, there he is. He's got to be overpriced, right? Now, look at that R2-D2 with the red paint. Hmm. I've never seen one like that before. That's interesting. Looks like there's some Smurfs in that bag. That's some modern Smurfs. Yeah, I mean, if he's still in the case, he's definitely overpriced, right? Cigars, two for 99 cents. Well, that's a deal. Well, it looks like they finally lowered the price on this Chessmaster NES game. It was $14.14, but I can't really tell what the new price is. Maybe $6.96? If that's what it is, I'll, I'll grab it. This Chessmaster game, is that new price $6.96? Yes. Okay. I will, uh, I'll take that then. All right, let's see. What do we got here? One of these squirter toys. All right. That mech suit dude is still here. We've got a SpongeBob SquarePants operation game. And a regular operation. But I ain't seen a whole lot of anything else. Is this some sort of stick puppet? That's kind of neat. I was looking to see if there was a date on this thing. Educational insights. Yeah, it's kind of fun, right? What do they want for it? Oh, there's no price on it. No price, so they won't sell it to you. Puppet on a stick. Oh, we've got an Oscar the Grouch. We've got a droid. Some sort of Spider-Man vehicle. I think it's Spider-Man. Maybe not. No, that's not Spider-Man. I don't know what that is. It's cool though. A little Drake, though. But nothing else. Look at this. We got the Oregon Trail card game. I actually picked that up a while ago. I may even still have it. All right, so I got the NES Chess Master game. I didn't even look at the gameplay on YouTube to see what it looks like. For all I know, it could be a crappy game. <laughs> you guys can let me know in the comments, dude, that game sucks. So, or hey, dude, that is an awesome score. But anyway, uh, we did get some more vintage 1980 stuff. So I am really happy 
with today's thrift store vintage toy hunt adventure. We got some awesome stuff along the way, but hey, if you're enjoying watching this content as much as I'm enjoying making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. That helps me out, it helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way and tons of videos you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're gonna love it.